So moving on to the snare sounds. Really similar to the kick. Starting just with a blank ES2 just on the sine wave. And I'm going to put it into monophonic because again, you can only hear one note at a time. Now, if you think about the snare drum, you've got two parts of the sound. You've got the drum itself, which will be the kick. Uh, and then you've also got the snare wires rattling underneath. For that, we're going to use noise, which gives a kind of percussive sound to it. And I'm going to blend it roughly 50 50. Exactly the same as the kick, we're going to set up our pitch drop so all drum sounds that are shell based, so toms, kicks, snares, will have a rapid pitch drop set up in this way. So we're going to pick pitch one because pitch three doesn't matter, noise is unpitched. And the source, again, I'm just going to do envelope one because we only really need decay to control the sound. Turn the modulation at full. And then let's have a play with the decay. I make it a little bit longer than the kick. And let's just sort that blend out between the noise and the sign. Start with that. Okay, let's go on to the envelope. So similar to the kick, we want a short attack. Not much sustain, if any. Uh, let's take the release. It's quite short too. Now the shape of the sound is really going to control this decay. If you have it up too full, you're going to hear a long sustained note. Whereas if it's too short, it will sound a bit too hi-hat like. Somewhere around there. So it's okay on about 130-ish. Gives us a nice punchy snare sound. Okay, so we're over to the filter. And there's a bit too much bass in the sound for my liking at the moment. So I might use a high pass and just chop out some of that. With it off, there's quite a lot of sub. Roll the cut off up. There we go and a bit of resonance for some colour. And again, you can add distortion if you want a bit more crunch out of the sound. Let's hear it with our kick. <laughs> 